Hello! So today I'm here with the rest of my MJ doll collection. Unfortunately, I cannot find the like black sheep themed na na na, but I was able to find the fox themed one that I got a while ago because I thought she was very, very cute at the time. She's still very cute. Although that is not my favorite line. I, I don't know. Like I feel like maybe they're a little too cutesy. Although she, she definitely gives Jessica Rabbit vibes in a way. Maybe it's the red hair. Maybe it's the red dress. <laughs> but yeah. She's definitely a pretty na 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 doll. So we have to acknowledge her. And then of course the brats. We've got got Tiana, who's relatively new. I did give her like a more normal high pony. So I felt like her like her hair wasn't high enough, and I thought like she looked good with it. So I just gave her, I styled her hair a bit. She's growing on me, honestly. I did not grow up with brats that much. I only had two as like a really little kid, but but yeah. She's growing on me, even though I, I didn't watch the movies as a kid either, so. Because I, she's just a really objectively pretty doll. I like this brat. Like, she, like, she looks good. She looks cool. I just like looking at her and holding her sometimes. Like, her, her hair is really soft. Her face is definitely pretty. I like her makeup. I like how it's a little darker. And there's the Tweevils, who we all know and love. Because they help sabotage Enemy's birthday. <laughs> They're kind of legends on the channel at this point. <laughs> and I've, and whenever they were like releasing, I like saw the leaks of it. I thought they, it was interesting. And then I heard, and then I watched the, the Rock Angels movie. I read stuff about. I knew, I knew, I knew they were the original, like, MJ Evil twins. So, like, why not get them? So NNV could, like, torment them. And just, yeah. I just wanted to own all of the MJ Evil twins. Because I thought it would be fun. It'd be really funny to see them interact with one another. Especially their interactions with the Storm twins and the Devious twins. Who we all know are the real, true stars of the channel at this point. I just needed more twins, so they exist, and they're certainly evil. <sighs> now for the line, released in 2019, that changed the fashion doll industry from the doll dark ages. That got everyone out of it. L-O-O-M-G. They, they were released in 2019. They were... But during a time when it was mainly blind box dolls, blind bag stuff, just blind items. Like, the think the LOL Price Toddlers, or the Poopsie Pets from that time, and, like, other... And, like, a bunch of, like, smaller dolls from other brands... Yeah. They were able to bring back high quality fashion dolls. And they were one of the first Owl Surprise items surprise items to not have like the surprise packaging. Like when you were getting one of them, you knew which one you were getting from the from the box and it was cool. Although it did have a very unique way of implementing the surprise elements with like the shoe boxes and the hat boxes and the tissue paper and little garment bags. Like those are such good accessories. And if you have old OMGs, it's useful to save those as well because you don't know when you can use them in doll photography or in doll role plays. And they also all came with, like, little magazines with their little star signs. And it was just... They brought something new to the fashion doll market that wasn't really big at the time. Like, 
when they were, were released, people went crazy over them because Barbie was going downhill. Other companies weren't releasing that interesting of of an output and and then suddenly seeing LOMG on the shelves it's like yeah these dolls look so cool and their clothes are so high quality and it's just their clothes are just as high quality as rainbow high clothes and which is to say they are like shockingly high quality for for their price point with the clothing quality and it was just so cool to see it we know there are some YouTube channels dedicated to this doll line. And I totally understand why. Because it's like, if you look at LOL Surpri Surprise and LOMG individually, LOL Surprise may seem overpriced. It may seem like that one line where it's like, why are you paying 10 to $15 for a ball with a toddler doll where you don't know which one you're going to get? I never, I don't know if I mentioned it before, but I am not normally a big fan of blind boxes. So, of course, I don't have a lot of LO Surprise toddlers. I do have a desk somewhere, though, that I got with a furniture set. But I cannot locate her right now for some reason. So, I don't have her in this video right now. And I got her because, well, Moonlight Baby. <laughs> so, Moonlight Baby, she's my favorite OMG ever. I don't remember what year she was released, but... I remember, like, her and, and Emmy are are definitely the founders of the MJ Got to Waifu Club before any other dolls were in that group. Like, they were the original two MGA goth dolls. That really started me fall, getting me to fall in love with the more gothic alternative dolls that MJ has to offer. I know... Moonlight Baby never got a review, as I, as I got her before I started doing reviews on the channel, but I love this doll so much. She is stunning. I love the lace on her clothes. I love, like, the black leather on her little corset. I love her little leaf lock shoes. Gave her Emmy socks. Unfortunately, her purse never did close, though, but, like, I love this doll anyways. Like, she is incredible. Like, this skirt. <laughs> like, this skirt she's wearing is just... Look at this piece of clothing. Like... I can't... I honestly I am not sure if it's traditional goth or, or romantic goth or Victorian goth. But whatever type of goth this is... Oh my gosh... This skirt is everything. The midnight blue lace. The black lace trim. The little bolero with this, with the, like, sleeves. She looks like she just stepped out of a horror movie or, like, or, like, a novel of horror st that has, like, full of horror stories. And, like, I adore this doll for that. She's a goth princess. Which is why she's in the MJ Goth, goth Waifu Club. And, and, she, and it's why she's one of its founders. Despite being an OMG doll. Despite not getting that much representation on the channel. She is an important doll. <laughs> and then my favorite of the... Tw another favorite of the, my OMGs is Spicy Babe. If you've seen the Fate anime series, she looks a lot like Rintosika. She looks like an anime character, quite literally, and I love that about her. Like, this doll literally looks like an anime character, and I adore it. I love her design. I love how she has that more alternative edge to her, and like, yeah... The red is so pretty on her. Just the red and the pink on her and the way it's done. It's so beautiful. I love how she's red themed too. Because I know her, her little sister is more like pink and black themed. But I love how 
they go with the red with her and it's so beautiful. And also, this doll's hair color. One can argue it's similar to Scarlet from Shadow High and and she predates Scarlet. She was the first MGA doll, I feel like, one of the first to have burgundy hair. Even if it's a burgundy and black blend and if she is so pretty. Not that she has like cute little accessories and such a cute little purse. Like, I love her little purse. Like, she ha she has such good pieces. Oh my gosh. And then the most recent acquisition to another one I feel like is so underrated. Major Lady. I love Major Lady. I think she's so pretty. I love her, her high ponytail. I love, her, I think her heterochromia makes her so unique. And of course, I restyled the hair on mine just a tiny bit so that like her like original tendrils are kind of pulled back, kind of framing her face a bit more, kind of covering her forehead a bit more, but she looks good like this. I put her in groovy base clothes and gave her her original accessories. Like she looks good. She looks really good. Like seriously, she is so pretty. And there were so many people who just didn't like her that much when she released. I know she's like a David Bowie reference, but like, other than her being a reference to a celebrity, like, she's an incredible doll in her own right, and I really want to show this, because, yeah, she's gorgeous. Who can say no to a pretty redhead with heterochromia? My first ever OMG is, is Groovy Babe. I got her out of curiosity. And because, like, I admit, I felt like some of their clothes at the time were tacky. But, like, hers, I liked the black and white. I thought she looked cool enough, so I got her. And, yeah, she's a cool doll. And I don't have, I don't have, like, a, a black light with me. But I know if you shine a black light on her, her eyes will, will, will show little swirls. And, like, her and Major Lady both have some glow-in-the-dark elements with their neon stuff. So, yeah. And one I thrifted recently is Roller Chick. She's a, she's a, she is a thrift find. I need to clean her up, but I'm just showing her because she's cool. Her hair blend is definitely very nice. It's, like, orange and pink and purple, like... She's definitely a doll I could have fun with and stuff with styling. And I, she definitely looks cool. Then a, a big fan favorite from this line is Candylicious. While she's not my favorite OMG that I own, I know a lot of people love this doll. And I can see why. Because design-wise, she looks like a pastel fantasy. Like the little, like, twist ties in her hair that like look like candy and like the, the candy colors in her hair her her outfit is very well made i'm gonna need to try it on like junior high holly probably because she'd be so cute in this outfit her shoes are cute too but yeah she is such a cute doll and the little nom nom earrings yeah, she she also had, like, some Lala Loopsies shown in, like, her room in her box originally, so. She has some nods to other MJ lines like that, and it's definitely a very cool thing to see. Definitely makes her a very strong doll in this line. Not to mention her role in the House of Surprises show. Like, how she runs BB Diner, like, yeah. She runs BB Diner in the show. She makes, like like cupcakes or donuts or something like yeah <laughs> she, she bakes in the show and also she's very cute very kawaii has, has little hearts on her cheeks and pink but yeah she is quite literally a pastel fantasy As for the most recent OMG I have, 
which I know I don't have a lot of them. I'll definitely need to like catch up on this collection if I ever find more of them. Especially Shadow. If anyone has Shadow and they're willing to send her to me, I'd be so grateful because I love Shadow. Shadow is so cool. And Moonlight BB needs a goth friend, so... But yeah, I'm not going to ask anyone to send anything to me right now. But Shadow is a Grail doll of, of mine. I haven't really mentioned her on the channel that much, but... Yeah, Shadow, the LOMG doll, and the original version of her sister Midnight are so beautiful to me. Especially Midnight with her, like, little, like, Victorian goth dress. Like, she's so cute. She is precious. I need her. Even though I don't collect the toddlers that much. <laughs> but yeah, on Suppose, the most recent home G in here. The ones I was eyeing at the store were her and Wildflower. And while, like, Wildflower, like, is rebased based doll, I'm not a fan of her clothes that much. I feel like her clothes are more, like, aren't, like, as versatile with other dolls. But this one, you saw how cute Veronica looks in her outfit. Her outfit slays. I really don't question her outfit at all because she literally looks like a pastel version of Veronica if she went to Rainbow High or something. That's how I de describe her outfit. Which is a very big compliment to give it, by the way. <laughs> and surprisingly, she also has a cute little undershirt under her jacket. And it's like, it's so cute. Like, she is so cute. Like, I was blown away by this doll when I opened her because her earrings actually have little dangling pearls. Her little bow has a little brooch on it. And, like, it's just it's so cool to see it. Although I did have to, like... To, like, take her jacket off, try it on Veronica before, but still... And then her purse, like, she's holding a little phone inside her purse. It's really cute. <laughs> so this doll, she's definitely very classy. And I, I like that about her. Or even preppy. Yeah. Her style is definitely similar to Veronica's. And it can, can be described as just very classy. She has an elegance about her. You can tell she's, like, rich and stuff. And just, yeah. It's very Chanel-inspired. And I just love her style. So, yeah, I'm happy I got her. And her makeup, too. Look at that eye makeup. I love how it's purple, but it's also subtle. And just... And her... And that dark... And that darker, like, pinkish-purple lip. It's, like... It's so nice. It's so cool. She is so pretty. And then for the, like, two tweens we've got, there's Aya Cherry, who's, like, my favorite. In my collection, I had canon her to be Moonlight Baby's younger cousin, who is a total otaku and is really into anime and obsessed with Sailor Moon. So basically, her role is very, very innocent. Like, she's adorable. She is so precious. Unfortunately, a while ago, a part of her, like, chain that went under her, her arm got, got, got detached from her jacket, but so now it hangs a little differently. But her other chain is really nice. It's on, it's, it's on her skirt, and, like, she has this, like, this little, like, anime schoolgirl skirt, like, her whole look is very much anime, schoolgirl, very kawaii, very adorable. I'm sure you can tell that I love her enough to have changed her hairstyle because, yeah, she looks good with a high pony. Like, the, the two ponytails were cute, but her with a high pony is just so adorable. She looks so cute, and I just love her. She is, she really is the best of the LOL tweens. And I'm going to stand by that. Moonlight BB is the best LOMG ever. And she's the best LOMG OMG tween ever. 
Don't argue with me on this because they are incredible. I adore these two and they're easily my favorites from this line. And then another tween I have is Jenny Rocks. Something I, li I, I really like about her is her dark purple lipstick and her green eyes and her hairstyle with these little ponytails and the pink, the, the purple, the black dark purple blend and the more lavender color. Her, her hair colors are so fun. Like she almost reminds me of a young Naomi. Like when, when, when I look at this doll, I can't help but imagine, like, how Naomi would dress as a child. Like, it's just, she literally feels like Naomi could be, like, her style influence or something. Because it's like, you've got, like, the little ponytail thing going on. You've got the purple lipstick. You've got, you got kind of, like, the goth alternative look to, to, to the makeup. And, like, it's really cool. Then her clothes are just precious. Like, she has these little, like, these little like like leg warmers they're very alternative she has little boots under there <laughs> she has a, an amazing like skirt that that's purple with like black biker shorts underneath it has a little bustier top and like little purple t-shirt under it like and a little choker she is so cute she is such a cute little like alternative goth emo type doll like she's adorable this is what i love about mga they aren't afraid to make dolls that fall into goth alternative or emo as much they aren't cowards when it comes to like to that type of doll and it's really cool just seeing that even on a doll as young as the like tweens like it's just she is so cute I swear, like, if if she had, like, purple skin, she could be, like, Naomi's, like, child. It's just, yeah. <laughs> I know. I don't talk about the OMGs that much. I'm contemplating. Should I start doing role plays with them? Should I start giving them their own story? Because they really are pretty. They, they really are cute. And it's, like... You gotta respect the quality that goes into these dolls. They may not be be my, be my favorites to collect as far as base dolls go, but like, if you've seen their clothes, their clothes are amazing. Their, their clothes can look great on other dolls. And the interesting thing about them and Bratz, I feel like them and Bratz could certainly wear each, each other's clothes, especially tops to a larger degree than like uh, and rainbow high can also wear their clothes a bit if their clothes have you know stretched to them so yeah like moonlight baby's outfit is an example of omg clothes that often have enough stretch to it for them for rainbow high dolls to wear and i'm sure we all saw the pictures of veronica in her clothes so yeah, I just wanted to show that and explain it. And I'm sorry if I haven't been active that much sometimes, but it's like, I'm just dealing with stuff in my own life a bit, you know? <laughs> well, that was the video where I went over the, the rest of my MGA collection for now and... And yeah, while I may not have always been an MJ stan, as I was always more of a Monster High stan as a teenager, it's like, these dolls are genuinely great. And I just love seeing the clothing quality and the attention to detail and, and that goth alternative representation being shown more here because it's so cool to see it. Well, that was the video. I hope you like it. And Moonlight BB certainly appreciates you getting to see more of her and, and, and her friends. <laughs>